Hello and welcome to the Beetle channel here on YouTube. I have a clear sign that it is springtime now in Europe. Look, here's the proof. That's the first shot cover I've seen today flying around. I mean, it's too cold now outside uh, that they are flying really actively and this one was in the fridge because I wanted to show it to you and if you don't take, put him to the fridge he will fly away and I can't show it to you anymore. This is the beautiful Swiss European chalk cover. As soon as he's getting active he's spreading his uh, antennas and then he's on his way. This is a female uh, probably looking for some food. Let's see whether we can uh, give her this piece of food but normally they sit on the trees of course and uh, they eat the fresh young leaves of the trees now it's sprouting everywhere and I found uh, this uh, jock cover beneath uh, an oak tree that is now just uh, pushing out the new uh, leaves so look how beautiful it is with this uh, feather like antennas uh, yeah that's the famous jock cover all the children they uh, of course love these beetles because it's a sign of spring coming and they sometimes they collect it play with them and whatever and earlier in around until 1850 around there were also some recipes to make a soup with these chalk covers if we find enough we probably won't try to do that but of course look they are so nice we don't eat them of course no we don't I'll probably might make some near beautiful pick. This is really a nice, a nice beetle, isn't it? So everybody's happy uh, to see him. But I wanted to show you something else because the third of April I had uh, this uh, pupas of Torcus curvidens. So now I put him back because as if if it's waking up here. Put it in this box here. We can eat something. So, I had this uh, box here with Torcus Curvidens, you remember? If you go back in the playlist about Torcus Curvidens, uh, you will of course see it. So now, uh, today, I'm really uh, not patient enough to wait. I want to see something. Now this looks like the skin is already shed and look here is the a fresh young male. It's not yet out long out of this skin because you see that the, the color is, uh, is a little brownish red. It's not completely black as you can see here but of course now this is very nervous because it doesn't want to be exposed to this uh, light here. It's a nice Torcus curvidens, isn't it? I mean, it's a, it's not a huge one, but it's but it's a pretty big, and it's uh, grown in Kinchi. So this is around, yeah. It's not, it's not a huge one. It would be around 6.5 uh, centimeters. Look how nice it is. So it's really a good time now for beetle breeding, look, let's see for the other here, or whether we found another here, yeah, this is small male here, that's a, oh, but also the man, the other, this I have to put back, because otherwise he's getting too nervous, I'll just put him back here, ah, look, this is running away, <laughs> so this is not so as big as the other one, but already active also, so of course they are very shy, also in nature, uh, in Japan, because this is the subspecies Pino dulosus, you hardly ever see them because they are so shy. Whenever you uh, come close to a place where they live inside of a tree hole or something like that, of course they just uh, run away and they, they just show up. This is still a pupa, so that's it for the moment. Yeah, it's springtime here. Keep watching my videos here in the Beetle Garage and all the best out to you. Let's be happy that it's springtime again. Mm -hmm.